Bendings are beautiful, but if you don't play them right, they sound like a cat with a stomach ache. Instead, they're intended to make the guitar sing like a human voice. Hopefully, a trained one. I believe the most annoying gold medal Oscar for bad music is an out of pitch sound. Bronze and silver go to bad timing and bad tone respectively. So if you bend, make sure to get it pitch right. There is a simple but hard and effective exercise that can help you a lot. My name is Alberto Lombardi, let me show it to you. But first, do me a solid and click the like button so YouTube will show the video to more people. Give me a guitar. Okay, let's pick a major scale. A good starting point is a C major scale at the 12th fret. Start from the top. Okay, now play the first note coming down, then play the next right away and bend it to reach the pitch of the first one, like this. Do the same for the second and third notes. Try to be as accurate as you can with the pitch and keep going with this pattern. There will be a point when you have to bend a full step with your first finger. That's hard. hard, so don't get discouraged if you miss it at first, and don't force yourself if you have even the slightest pain. Relax, wait a minute, and try again. As you progress even more, it will come a point where it feels natural to bend down instead of 
up. For me, it is usually the D string, but that's personal. Once you did this, you might want to try different position and different scales, especially going down on the neck because it requires a lot more strength. Be sure to help yourself with the fingers that are available. So if you're bending with the third finger, use the first and the second to help you strengthen the movement. You can also use your thumb to grab the neck or put it on the back. It actually doesn't make too much of a difference for me. On the contrary, when you go up the neck, you will need less power and you have to be mindful of that or your bends will be sharp. To make this whole exercise even more effective, play a chord underneath, take a keyboard pad or a guitar chord and loop it. It makes your sense of pitch develop even more. If you like bandings, you might want to check out this video and remember to subscribe Click the bell and activate notifications. It's the only way you won't miss my future videos. Alberto Lombardi, ciao!